just said she doesn't want to share a room. I didn't really mean it. And I can hang out with you and Olivia on your sleepover? Of course you can. But we're about to tell scary stories. I bet I can scare you both with a dinosaur story. It was a dark and stormy night. Sarah was at someone's house, babysitting. An unknown number. Okay, who is this? Stop calling me, this isn't funny. Sara went to answer the door. Sara! That's when Sara and Olivia heard a squawk. I think it's coming from back there. The Dromius sword. Eat her first. Who did they eat first? No one. Dromiosaurus have prey that are smaller than them or scavenge food that bigger dinos have left behind. You only get to stay if you tell a scary story. Let me try again. This story begins with two friends going for a walk in the world. Selfie time! The pictures were fine. It's what else they saw in the pictures that was. <laughs> they were so scared that they ran in opposite directions. Sarah, where are you? Olivia! Olivia, where are you? I don't know. Ah! Or he'll find us. Let's see if he's out there. <laughs> Who did it call first? No one. Just because there is an asaurus that claws as long as my arm doesn't mean they were carnivores. Strike two, Dana. Off you go. Give me one more chance. I promise. This story is about fishing. What exactly are we trying to catch? Megalodon. Name means big tooth. Oh, oh. Ah, okay. She can stay and we don't need to finish the story. I agree. No. Finish it.